<laughs> Welcome back. Will Wersham joins us now for this week's Speaking Legal Discussion. Good to see you again. Hey, great to be here. We have a question for you. Ready for this? I am. All right, here yeah. we go. I got my first speeding ticket yesterday. I really was speeding. <laughs> but I've been told that now my insurance rates will go up. I've been driving for a long time. This is my first ticket. Will my rates really go up? And is there anything I can do about it? So? Yeah, well, you know, here's the thing. I mean, I can't speak for insurance companies, yours, mine, or anybody else's, but they're in it for the money, just like we all <gasps> are. <Yeah>. A surprise. <laughs> Shocked. And so, yes, I mean, odds are, and if you look at any of the research online, you get a ticket, you get a conviction, your rates are going to increase for getting the ticket. A conviction for speeding. But yeah, yes. yeah, as you said, you don't speak for insurance company. But I mean, is that kind of an across the board thing? You can just it, assume every single time. I, oh, knock on wood. <laughs> I, I'm seriously, I drive like a, not a little old person that goes super slow, but I'm the one that's way back here because I don't trust that person in front of me. <laughs> yeah, right? Right. Are you agreeing that I drive no, like there's a, a, there's a, you put a lot of bumper space around I here. do try to put a lot of bumper space, but yeah. I, I mean, is it a given that if I haven't had one in 25 years that all of a sudden they're going to go Pshh. Yeah, it kind of is. Is it because really? Because probably okay. your rate, you probably have a preferred rate because you've not had any tickets in a significant amount of time. Yeah. And so they're going to reduce your rates because you're, you've been a good driver. Um, so one speeding ticket, whether you're a good driver, a normal driver, or a bad driver, typically will increase someone's rates anywhere from three to six thousand dollars over the next three years from the day mm -hmm. they get convicted of that ticket. Yeah, and if you have other people wow. on your insurance, like oh, a daughter or a son, <laughs> oh, well, your rates are still going to go up. Let's not even talk about that. Yeah, I have okay. three sons and and a third one about to start driving, so I don't even want to think about it. Oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> You know, there was one word that you used in your your answer, and that was convicted. Yeah, I did. Is that the word to look at? It really there? is, ah. because conviction is whether or not it appears on your record or not. Mm -hmm. And so what we do at MissouriTrafficTickets.com, which is something I started in 2002, mm -hmm. is you can go online and you can say, hey, I got this ticket. I'm guilty. It's fine. And you can pay us a small fee, usually $100, and we will negotiate with the prosecutor and try to get a disposition to that ticket that doesn't result in a moving violation. So you may pay a fine, you may do a short period of probation, you may do anything else, you may do a driving school, you may do it online, but we'll keep that conviction off your record so that it doesn't affect your insurance rates. And so you can usually pay us between 100 and maybe the court an extra $100. So for a couple extra $100, you can usually keep that conviction off your record and maybe save yourself that. Several thousand dollars. Yes. So that may save you money down the road with yeah. the engine. Is that something you could do yourself or is there? You know, you can do it yourself. Yeah, that you're probably would just mean spend, you're going to court. Well, you're, here's the thing. You can do it yourself. Absolutely. You're going to spend hours in court. You may or may not know if you got what you're bargaining for because there's some dispositions that look like they're staying off your record, but they're really not. Hmm. And only a lawyer really knows the difference. So, you know, the safest, cheapest, easier answer is to hire somebody like us at MissouriTrafficTickets.com to keep it off your record. Sounds like an easy way to take care of it. Yeah, well, we like it. I, I would assume, though, don't like necessarily bet the farm because can you take care of every... Well, there's no guarantees. That's what I mean. And, yeah, That's no, what I mean. But we've been doing it for 17 years, mm -hmm. and we're pretty good at what we do. You know the ropes. You know we how do. to try that. And it could be that there are some people that you might just need yep. to have a little sit down with and say, listen, <laughs> there's it's, only so much we can do for you. Right. You know, yep. get, get rid it, of the lead foot. It sounds like the old spend a little, save a lot. Yes, yeah, okay. absolutely. All right, okay, all right. good advice for sure. If you have a legal <laughs> question for Will, email him at wworsham at color10.com, and he will answer your question on the show. I love this every week. Good legal advice. I'm glad to be here. A lot of things I just never would have thought about. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks, Will. Yeah. You bet. Appreciate Good stuff. It. All right, coming Thanks. up, it is Dollars and Cents with Bruce Porter, so stick around. He has a lot of tickets, though.